Hello, welcome back to another video on my channel. Hope you're doing good, hope you are doing well. The international break is coming just around the corner and as we wait uh, essentially a million years for the Algeria one to drop, the Egypt one has dropped, of course, who are Algeria's opponents in an upcoming international friendly taking place in Abu Dhabi. 25-man squad now, of course, Egypt these days are managed by the former Benfica manager, the Portuguese Rui Vitoria. And I suppose with the Egypt squad, you want, it's the usual suspects are always going to be there. As long as that main core of talent is there, they're a good side. And then the sort of the players on the periphery um, make up the rest of the squad. For example, Hegazi is not here, the centre-back, who used to play in the Premier League for West Brom. I think he's a very, very good defender, Hegazi. Uh, I'm going to guess that he's injured. I don't know too much about it, but a knock to Hegazi, to me, would be the only reason why he wouldn't be in a squad like this, or I don't know what's going on between him and the national team. But that is, of course, good news for Algeria. He's a very good defender. Um, no Sam Morsi, of course, who plays in English football in the Football League in midfield. Again, that's a player I'd expect to be in this sort of squad. So are they going to be looking towards playing the AFCON without Morsi in the squad? We'll have to wait and see. But in terms of who is in the Egypt squad to face Algeria, I suppose that's a, a little more interesting. So again, it's kind of like the usual suspects. In goal, you've got El Shanawi, who is probably going to be the number one goalkeeper. Uh, Gabaski as well, who remember the last AFCON, Gabaski was absolutely incredible. Do you remember, he even saved, I know Senegal beat Egypt on penalties. He actually saved a penalty from Mane in-game. I remember several other penalties and penalty shootouts during that tournament. Gabaski, the second choice keeper, because El Shanawi got an injury in AFCON 2021 in Cameroon. Gabaski came and he was fantastic. He was brilliant. So in El Shanawi and Gabaski there, they have got two very, very assured goalkeepers. Like I said about the defence, there's no Hegazi, but Abdelmonem is very, very good at the back. The Ahli defender, I rate him. Um, it's players you, you sort of expect. Ali Gubba was... Once at West Brom as well, I think he actually was brought in by the say-so of Higazi under Alan Pardew, but it didn't quite work out for him. But Abdelmonem is a very, very good defender. In midfield, Tarek Hamed, who does play for the same team as Higazi um, in midfield, he's in the squad. As is Mohamed al Nani, who's barely played any club football for Arsenal, of course. He's been injured for a long time. He scored in an AFCON final before, hasn't he, Al-Nani? Um, he's a good player and... He's going to be fit for AFCON already in October. It's not like Bonassa, where Bonassa looks like he's going to come back in December. And even then, it's a big injury to come back from. He won't be fully match fit. So, El Nenny's a big plus for Egypt, and it'll make the test for Algeria even better. Zizou and Ashour from Ahli are in the squad as well. And for me, the attack, it's a really, really strong attack. And people would tend to think that just because of Mo Salah. And they think, OK, Mo Salah, best player in the Premier League, arguably best player in Africa, probably... But you look at what Mo Salah is now supplemented with, with Egypt's squad. Not all the pressure is going to be on him. Of course he's the main man. He's the talisman. You look at the number of goal contributions Salah has for Egypt and Africa Cup nations gone by, particularly the last one. Nearly every goal went through him, either scored by him or made by him. Salah's in there. But then you've got Omar Mouche. Now, Omar Mouche, um, as I like to call him, plays for Frankfurt, who, which is where Shaibi plays as well. And... Of course, those two are going to be probably going up against each other. Omar Marmouche is a very, very good player, a very good young player. He's going to be a big part of what Egypt do going forward. Trezeguet is back, as I like to call him. Trezeguet, Trezeguet is back in the squad as well for Egypt on the wing. He used to play for the likes of uh, Aston Villa. That was it. Back when Aston Villa had Steve Bruce, Trezeguet, El Mohamedi, all sorts of collusions going on there. And then Mostafa Mohamed, the striker at Nantes. He was actually the replacement at Nantes for Andy Delors. They nearly got relegated. Well, Stefan Mohamed has been on fire. So you'd think if they had the guts to play a front... F let's play El Nenny. Let let let's say El Nenny played in the middle with, with Tariq Hamid. And they were both told to sit back. And they played a front four of Salah, Marmouche, Mostafa Mohamed, oh, Trezeguet, Zizel. Oh, I'll tell you what. I keep saying it. But just because they didn't go to the World Cup. Remember, they reached the final of the AFCON lost to Senegal on pens from a Carlos Quiroz masterclass, and then they lost the World Cup qualifier. They beat Senegal in Egypt, first leg, which is really, really impressive. Um, they go to pens in the second leg, and again, pens is a lottery, and Senegal won that lottery twice. It could have easily been Egypt, won AFCON and went to the World Cup and had, had Qatar. That would have been incredible. So people are sleeping on them. Remember, they beat Morocco at the last AFCON. Um, they beat Belgium before the last World Cup. They are a good side. But Egypt, 
usually strong favourites. They're not being touted as strong favourites, but that might work in their favour, because apart from Egyptians themselves thinking, we've got to do well, we've got to go far, we've got a good team, the rest of Africa aren't really taking Egypt as seriously, which might mean A, they underestimate them, which is good for Egypt, and B, there's less pressure on the Egyptians. So anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on the uh, Egyptian squad to face Algeria. Are you scared? Does this worry you? Or do you feel like we've got a good chance of winning like the Senegal game? But thanks for watching. I think it'll be a great game. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.